Samantha Johnson. You committed a heinous crime. Her act was truly despicable. Oh, you're laughing. Don't fucking laugh at me. You're in jail for the rest of your fucking life. You know what? I give two flying fucks about what you or anybody else think. I'm the victim. It was me that got infected. I played my part. I did what I was supposed to do. As a wife, a mother, a friend, a lover. What the fuck you mean, man? But did you have to kill him? Did you have to kill him? He killing me? He's killing me. Slowly. He just died a little quicker than I did. And I made sure he couldn't infect nobody else. So I shouldn't be in jail. I really should be having a badge of honor for saving these bitches' lives out here. Because he sure was not giving a fuck about nobody else in their life. You're thinking like a psychopath. <laughs> a secure psychopath. <laughs> you know, Jeremy had a way of calling me crazy all the time. He always What else to snow? <laughs> Samantha. Yes. You let your emotions go too far with this. Why? Why did you do it? Because I was in love with a man that didn't love me and he didn't give a fuck about me. My life, my loyalty, my love that I gave him. Tell me something, Samantha Johnson. Yes. Was it worth it? Yes. Every minute. Every second. Just tying them up and throwing gasoline on them. <laughs> oh, and watching them just burn. I sent them to hell. Real early. <laughs> you know the world can see this, right?
My name is Jeremy, and I am a lawyer at the Kansas City Law Firm in Kansas City, Missouri. I'm here to make a confession. It's not a happy confession. It's something I need to tell. I need to tell my story. Because after I tell this story, people might look at me like a monster. Like I don't have a heart. Like I don't have a soul. Like I don't have feelings. But in reality, in reality, I'm the victim. I'm the victim too. People might think otherwise of me, but I've been hurting for years, years. I don't feel like anybody has went through the pain that I went through growing up. Growing up, I was molested as a child at a young age. I didn't have a childhood. Growing up being molested. I could see I could still see those hands touch me. Wanted it to stop. Nobody cared. Nobody cared at all. Nobody heard my helpless cries. And if I did try to tell somebody, they would look at me like I was crazy. You're lying. Go back in the room, Jeremy. We have no time for your lies. I grew up miserable. And I had, still have trauma effects and PTSD inside my head right now. From those memories throughout the molestation, I was contracted with HIV. And although I do take pills to stay alive, so the affection doesn't get any worse, for some reason, I stopped taking. I stopped. I really did. And the media right now may look at me as a monster, but like I said, I was the victim. I was victimized. And nobody cared. Nobody understood my pain. But you know what? I wanted people to feel my pain. The only way to do that was to manipulate every person I see. Secure them with a false sense of love. Like I really cared about their feelings. Get close to them control them in any type of way I want it. I'm a handsome guy. I'm beautiful. Gorgeous. I can get any woman or man that I want. And I used it to my advantage. I used it to my advantage. And it felt good. It felt good. Because for once, I wasn't the victim. I had the power. I managed to get married to my wife. She had no idea I was infected. I treated her like a queen. Like the princess she believed she was. But deep down inside, I didn't care. These were all false emotions. Just so I can control her. 
I cheated on my wife multiple times. On multiple different women. The best shit. She wasn't giving me the happiness. It's an emptiness in my heart that can't be filled. And I know she tried. I know she tried. But at the same time, she wasn't doing enough. Whenever a man feels incomplete, it's up to a woman or even another man to complete him. When I wasn't getting that same attention from my wife, I had to get it from somewhere else. I had a lot of side chicks, a lot. A lot who I will preach the same line to Give them the affection, give them the false sense of security that they needed. Then a couple months later, I changed my whole attitude. I would turn cold. And then I would slowly disappear from their lives. I would make them feel guilty. Like they were the ones with the problems. Not me, but it was them. My side. Brittany, she was everything my wife couldn't be. She gave me the security I needed. And when my wife wasn't giving me the empathy, wasn't giving me the affection that I truly deserve, I went to her and got it. She was my supply. And that's all she was. Emotional supply that I never cared about. Just some, on some clingy shit, yeah, huh? Like, what a fucking shit. lame, bro. I'm, I'm looking at it this way. Just let it happen naturally. Exactly. Why force the connection? You know, like... But when it's natural, it's motherfucking natural. When it's you natural, it's saying? natural. And I'm going to come <laughs> even closer to you. Like, when it's natural, like, you and me, yeah. it's natural. That nigga still blowing you up? Yeah, I'm fucking calling. Man, God, God damn. Hey. Fake ass nigga. Just send that nigga the voicemail and just be done. Oh yeah, baby. You know, see, that's why I love you. You know, you always picking me up. You're always there. You know, making sure your baby's right. Listen, my fucking spouse, my wife. Golly, you are so much better than her. Look, she don't even want to dress up for me. She don't want to go out. She, she don't want to do shit. Just, golly, just She's fucking comfortable. Comfortable. Man. She got too comfortable. Too comfortable, man. Look at you. Can you stand up for me, baby? Like, look at, look at you. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. You better show the fuck out. Come here. Mm -mm -mm. Jesus Christ. See, that's why I like you, and that's why we have so much of a beautiful connection. So what we doing? We leaving them or what? Listen, come here. Look at me. He still got them calling me. Yes. Let me just let me just get this. I'll be right back. Go ahead, baby. I'll be waiting. Alright. I'm be going for too long, dude. I'm gonna miss you. Man, that was a sexy motherfucker. Okay. Oh shit. Put my Mac Daddy on me this. And she got glasses too. Shit, we might as well be twins. At least while she fucking talking to her fucking dude, I can maybe shoot my shot just a little bit. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey, baby, what's your name? How you doing? I'm doing well, shit, what about you? I see you over here looking real sexy, black chocolate queen with this natural, beautiful hair. 
Who are you thinking you is? Where do you come from? Who do you belong to? You are you lost? Girl, I belong to you. I came to you. No, you must be lost because you don't belong to me. You must belong to somebody else. What are you talking about? I'm trying to, listen, Who? listen, I'm trying to get to know you. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know you. Like, what are you but, doing? But can I get to know you? You Where? look, you look hey, Oh, man, what's hey, up? Hey, we got this meeting we got to go to, man. You talking about another lawyer meeting? Yeah. I hate them when the fucking lawyer meet. Do I got to, bro? Yeah, bro. Can't these niggas just fucking just... Why do we gotta protect the fucking lousy niggas, man? Don't just kill each other. Oh, you got a home, right? You gotta go home, too. Man, you know I'm not happy. I'm trying to make this my new wife. I'm gonna need you to stop touching me before you get arrested, so I'll call 911 real fast. Girl, I'm a lawyer. I can pay your bills. I can pay everything. You can't pay for nothing. No, no, call me. Call me, okay? Not even. Call me. Call me. Not even on a good day. No, no, fucking call both of us. Come on, she's sexy than my brother. We're sexy chocolate more. Hey, hey, what's your name? Don't worry about her name, man. God damn. You got a wife and everything. Man, fuck her. She don't do shit for me, man. Nah, I'm that's depressed, that's bro. That's like, that's I need some. Cool. Come on, bro. That's good, I'm man. I'm fucking depressed, man. Shit. Well, we, Listen, we, talk to me. Talk to me. We, oh, I, okay. I got a wife. Yes. And look, if you ain't happy, come on, bro. I'm going to divorce her pretty soon. I ain't going to lie, bro. I am not fucking happy, bro. She don't make me fucking happy at all, bro. I'm fucking depressed, bro. But you're not depressed yet. What the fuck you mean, nigga? I'm, Bro, I'm you, using, you still married, right? But I'm not happy. I'm, okay, I'm, I understand you're I'm not happy, but you're still married. So how would you like if your girl go out and talk to somebody else and y'all still married? I don't give a fuck, man. I don't give a fuck about her. You know, I'm you, I'm talking to other women right now as we speak. They oh. fulfill that void for me, bro. You understand? Being with somebody that's not giving shit about well, you, I've been putting my everything into her, man. But let's go take care of this first. You're right. Yeah, it it right? is about the business. It's yeah. about the business. But that, business, even my nah, fucking job is stressing me look, out, bro. Business first, pleasure last. Business first, pleasure last. Let's go. Business first, first pleasure, pleasure last. last. Business first, first pleasure, pleasure last. last. My oh, nigga. Man. That's why I fuck with you, bro. Come on, let's go, man. God damn. Nigga. Nigga, you want me on my next wedding because I'm divorcing this bitch. Hey, look. She a good woman, bro. Don't, don't mess this up, you know? You talking everybody, about my wife? Yeah, everybody will be lucky to be in your shoes. Listen, if that's the case, I got a plan. You single, right? Yeah. Why don't you marry her? No. Nah, Why don't I'm, you no, fucking no, no, get with her? You, you know what I'm saying? You see you, all this fucking because you already in my married wife. To her. Why would I want to get married to her when you already married? I'm about to, her. to divorce her so no, you can slip no. in. That right, makes listen. her more vulnerable, bro. But, but, you can slip listen, in. But hear me out, though. Play your captain, save a whole shit, and nigga, we good. What's the reason you got to her? What's the reason you got married to her? Why did you marry to her? Why did you say I do? Why did you put the ring on her finger? Because she was queen at first, but then she got too comfortable, started taking me for granted, stopped appreciating shit I was doing. Then what the fuck? It became all about her instead of about me. My okay. feelings don't mean nothing. Yeah. So I'm about to walk around sad and just but your fucking depressed. Mean, your feelings mean everything, but what are you doing wrong? I'm not doing anything wrong. She's happy. If I if I asked her the same thing, would she tell me something different? No, because I'm treating her right. But She's the one that's you not saying one side of the situation. I'm not, bro. I'm treating her right. It's no reason why she should be happy and I should be miserable. Come on. No, you both should be happy. And my happiness means. My, I don't understand, but, bro. As but, look, I, but you say you happy, but you out here playing Mac Daddy to somebody else. Well, if she could do her fucking job as a woman, then I wouldn't have to do that. But are you doing your job as a man? Are I'm, you fulfilling Are you fulfilling the needs? Are you taking care of your business, what you're supposed to do at home? See, you can't answer the question. Man, come on, man. Let's just get to this fucking meeting, bro. I ain't trying to hear this shit. Business first, pleasure later, nigga. Let's go. Let's Business go. first, pleasure later. Nigga, let's go.
listen, I'm just happy to be here with you. I like your hair. Thank you, please. It's good. How you been going out there? You came home with a briefcase. What do you mean a briefcase? Listen, come on. Let me sit by you. Let me, let me, come on. Like, I need to be here with my wife. Oh my God, the hard day's work. I just need to be with you. I'm just trying to figure out. Come on, be comfortable. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Oh my, oh, my legs hurt so bad. Oh, wow. No legs hurt? I didn't even wear no legs. I've been walking around that office all day. But I just, was, but you, you got, you slumped with so much work and you came home with no briefcase, no computer, no nothing. I had to leave it at the office. We've been here for them two days. You ain't, doing, you ain't done nothing with me. You just been in and out, and you ain't been working that day on board to where we can't spend no time together. What are you talking about? What don't, you mean? Listen, I've been working. Don't you like this? This Airbnb? Don't you like all of this? I mean, Come I on. All this. I took you on vacation with me for a reason, but it takes a vacation. money to pay That's the bills. A vacation. So I ain't been on vacation. I've been in here. Well, it, if you wanted to go somewhere, you could have asked me. Like, it takes money to pay for all stuff. You can, we can set something up. I just want you to be more innovative and just tell me, take more initiative and tell me what you want to do. Why do I always have to be right here? I'm hungry. Okay, what do you eat? I want something to eat. <sighs> yeah, what do you, you want to eat? What do you, what do you want to eat? I don't care. I want some Jamaican food. I want some jerk chicken. Some jerk chicken? Yes. That's I'm something. Listening, but for real, let me ask you. Sweetie. Yes. Who, who, who was the girl you was, you was talking to today? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? The girl you know, with the red hair? Who was that? So, a client. Why take you so long to answer? Is she just a client? She's just a client. You came home with no briefcase. Because I'm running around all day at work. I, listen. And you forgot your briefcase. Yes, at that point in time, I just wanted to get the hell up out of there. You don't understand how stressful being a lawyer can be, man. It's, come on, can you just understand that? I'm trying. I really how can, am. But you making this hard for me. Why are you questioning me? I, I walk in. How come you just can't be my peace? Come on, let's just order some food and I'll talk about this. It's hard to be lying to me. I'm not lying. Just be my peace for once. Come on. Like, can you believe me just for once? Like, listen, let's just order some food, relax, watch TV, and enjoy this Airbnb out here. I'm going to go order some food. Please. And I'm going to go get it. Please. And I can get a little bit more comfortable too. I can, Take off my shirt. Yeah, do that. You do that. Come on, why do that? Oh, damn, man. Oh, man. She, she wondered why I'm drinking all the time. Damn. Eat this shit. Oh, fuck. God damn. She gets on fucking nerves. It's all about her. It's all about her. I don't care about my feelings. I don't care that I paid for this fucking expensive Airbnb. Shit. Damn. Damn, let me. Fuck, man. She got me so fucking stressed out. Let me call Star real fast. God damn, she understands. There she is. Hey, Star, what's up? Had to leave, man. Shit, fucking, you know, I, I'm wife, you know, goddamn, dude. It sucks, dude. Like, oh, dude, you want to believe when I walked in? She had to be my back. And I'm like, dude, like, I'm like, dude, be my peace. Don't be my enemy. Come on, stop like sleeping with the enemy. You know, like, come on, like. And then she got the nerve to play. Let's order food. I'm like, bitch, I'm gonna fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? You just turn me off at anything, you know? Hey, um. This pussy got another thing on me. When am I gonna see you again? So, do you think I'm out when they have her? Who are you talking to? Uh, uh, 
Hey, hold on, I'm gonna call you back, okay? Who are you talking to? Huh? That's your plan again? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my client. Do you know I just heard you talking shit? What are you talking about? You want a shot? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, why you gotta be like that? Please do. Please. Yes. Get the food and let's just have a good time, okay? Okay. Y'all just nice and Airbnb, you know? Uh huh. How did you meet Jeremy? I met Jeremy back in 03. We went to UMKC together. I had studied medicine and he has studied law and he was everything to me everything i could possibly think of he was tall he was chocolate he was muscular oh my god and the way he smelled he smelled so good i couldn't do nothing but just melt when i saw him he was also very charming too. He was very, very fucking charming. <laughs> but he also was a cheater. And a liar and a manipulator. So I guess don't none of that other shit matters. Manipulator? Yes. He knew how to mind fuck bitches. And he had a habit of doing it. I'm just glad that you was able to meet up with me today. It's just that I got a lot on my mind and I just needed somebody to talk to. And I know that you are a good listener. Right. I mean, what's on your mind? I mean, I can see it through your body language, your facial expressions. Your, your inner energy is kind of low. Like, what, what's going on? It's another relationship. I mean, it's just another bad breakup that I'm trying to cope with and stay strong. But it's like sometimes I need advice to, you know, to help me move through it. Right, to help you, help you push through the, the pain, the adversity, because there's a lot of pain that comes from relationships. Yes, I mean. Like emotions. It is, it's just, you know, the relationship started off so good, you know, I just don't understand, you know, where it went wrong. How did it start? Because everybody has a hidden side to them. Everybody has a hidden side to them that only comes out through their relationships. Yeah. I mean, in the beginning, it started off good. It was like, you know, I'm looking for a wife and I'm looking for a husband and we just cl we clicked. And, right, and right. I'm getting tired of you on some cheating ass shit, so where she at? That's the girl you with. As soon as I pull off, who you with another bitch. Who can holler at your ass down? Come on, man. It ain't look, no sitting fuck? down. I'm not look, sitting down. Look, all these rumors you keep hearing about me is a fucking lie. It's a lie. It's not a lie, because I just called her going in there. She was just sitting at the table with you. Who? Okay, now it's who. Listen, but I if I drag that bitch out here, then what? Listen, no need for all that Pocahontas. Look, I love you. You know what I'm saying? I've been with you for a minute. I'm going to never do that. Come on, baby. Let's just sit down. Come here. Come here. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, we're going to sit down. down. We're going to talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Listen, I've been with you for a minute, right? Have you ever seen me to be disloyal? I know motherfuckers talk, but they hate me because I'm with you. You're a queen. Look at you. Sexy as hell. And I appreciate that. Why would I ever you? cheat on you? But you right. should never make me feel like that. How do I make you feel? Because of everybody else. And I try not to let everybody else, you know, try to get in my head. But it's what you show me, especially when I see you out somewhere and it's other females. Everybody is jealous on what we got. 
Of course they're going to try to throw a stone in what we got. Look at you. We make a good couple. We look good. We look fly. Of course people are going to hate. Listen, baby. Listen. I love you. And we can't let anybody come between us. You well, feel I feel you. So don't be on the other shit. So for now, no, we good, right? You good, baby. We're a little sexy ass up. Come on. You don't stop tripping? Yeah, I'm gonna stop tripping. You gonna start tripping? Most definitely. Daddy gonna take you out later, okay? Baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. I love you. Had a habit of doing it so bad to where one day some chick popped up at our house talking about she was pregnant with his baby. Can you believe that? Can you believe a bitch showed up at my house talking about she was pregnant with my husband's baby? Huh? That bitch had to be out of her fucking mind. So I gave the bitch the money. Told her to take care of it and sent her off. Jeremy, you are the motherfucking nigga, I tell you. Oof. Got so many women up my sleeve. Okay. Okay, okay, what she want? Shit, okay. Hey, what's up, baby? Doing good. What's up with you? Shit. You know, I've been missing you, right? Yeah, I know. It's just, um, I just have some on my mind, Jeremy. And, uh, Girl, listen. Listen, baby. You you know you can tell me anything, right? Shit, girl, we click. Look at us. Look at, both got on the same glass. Girl, we click. Look at us. We look good. We make a good couple. Come on, baby. What you got on no. Baby, listen, you can trust me. Where's this mistrust coming from? Come on. Babe, like, I mean, you know you're the only one for you me? Keep saying, you keep saying that you love me. I don't think you love me. Like, the way that you treat me, the stuff that you bought back to me, I don't think you love me. What do you mean, the stuff? Hold on. Wait. Wait. A, what, hold the fuck. I do love you. I love you I mean, with all my heart. What are you talking about? Is there? You called me. Come on. Where did this STD come from? STD? What the fuck are you talking about? That I was given? Yes. From you? I have not slept with any other man but you. So how am I able to get anything or have anything up in my body when I'm as pure as a fucking baby's ass? How the fuck am I supposed to know that? I don't know who you been with. I, listen, I ain't got no motherfucking STD. Shit. You don't have an STD. You're saying, when was the last time that you went to the hospital? Just answer me that. Right. It was two you weeks ago. No, no, it was two weeks ago. It was two weeks ago. Listen.
Listen, I ain't got no motherfucking STD. I do. I love you, but I, being accused of having something I don't have, come on. I don't know where you got that shit from. Now you're trying to put the blame on me? But you're the only man that I've been with. You have been the only man that I put all my trust into, my life into, my dedication, my ambition. I put all of that into you. How am I supposed to know, first of all, how am I supposed to know that you're the only man you've been with? Girls lie all the time. Girls cheat all the time. You could have got it from anywhere. Have I ever cheated? Have I ever cheated? Have you ever went through my phone and found anything? I don't think we ever had those issues on my end. But you, you have been having all of those issues. This female calling my phone, saying this, saying that. Like, what? What is that? What? I thought you loved me. I thought you cared. And on top of that, after saying that you loved me, How the fuck you find that information out? How the fuck you know I was married? Your own wife called my phone and told me that I've been sleeping with a married man for the last three freaking weeks. I've been with you, Ashley. She my wife me. called you? Yes, she oh. dialed my number. You guys have kids together, and you choose to be with me? Like, what, what are you doing? Why, why wasn't you honest? Why? So how many females have you done this to? Because I'm not the only one. Listen, listen, I, I ain't got time for this shit. I, I ain't got time. I, I don't have fucking time. It's men like you that makes a woman mad and she got to say so many women. Like, I'm not the only one. And you got to say so many women are masculine and we're so broke on top and we just do too much trying to protect ourselves. We have no choice. Shut up, shut up. You, you, you put us through. Shut you, up. You, you, you it's, it's a it's a it's a lie. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Shut up. And you're disgusting. I'm not disgusting. I'm the best thing God ever created. No, not at all. I'm being as a man of God. Like if you're supposed to be a man of God, you're not supposed to do wrong to your wife. You're not supposed to fornicate with other people or commit adultery. Is that not what it says in the Bible? Uh, shut up. I'm perfect. Samantha, what are we talking about? I made the bitch get an abortion. She wasn't about to fuck up what I had going on with me and my husband and my kids. The fuck? No. 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 And didn't have everybody at my doctor's office talking crazy about me and all that. No. I wasn't having that. I wasn't. You know, I lived quite a successful lifestyle. I lived really good. I took damn good care of myself my husband and my child, and I'd be damned if some hood red ass girl was gonna come about, talking about she was pregnant by my husband. The fuck I look like. <laughs> what did Jeremy have to say about this? What could he say? He didn't know. I told the bitch she better not contact my husband again, because if she contact him again, I was gonna kill her. Oh, man, shit. Oof. Mm -hmm.
know, just something even that simple, my wife couldn't do. Yeah. She get, couldn't even give me a fucking drink without nagging. I don't know what it is after a while. They just. They just changed, don't they? Mm -hmm. uh, it starts off like on some Cinderella shit, you know? Perfect peaches and cream. And then, like, after a couple months, they just show another side. They're like, what the fuck? And it's just. You gotta deal with it. Yeah, that's what I'm going through with mine, you know. Shit, First Jesus. he come in trying to take care and do for all and then now I'm taking care of him and these kids. Oh my god, like And that, his dog. And that fucking oh I hate that fucking dog. Every time I fucking come look, I can't even get up on you without that motherfucker just whining and shit. So Fuck extra. that dog, man. So extra, baby. <laughs> shit, I like the way you're rubbing on me. It feels good, man. I feel, that's fucking right. I just had oh my mm. god. Just what a woman's happened? touch. And what happened with that? Oh like, my god, man. Or she stay on some bullshit. Like I'm trying to get her to calm down. Like got this mm -hmm. expensive Airbnb. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a nice time. Right. But dude, she makes it into something bigger and bigger. I'm like, Look, come on. I hope he ain't here. Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> well damn, that is that dog. Fuck, you think he... Mm. God, listen, mm -hmm. if he is here, just fucking lock me in a closet. Okay. Look, look, as soon as the door knock, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to spend as much time with you as possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got mm -hmm. you. My hands smell so fucking smooth. Oh my God, <laughs> baby. This, and this is it. You know, this is all I've been asking mm -hmm. for. Just uh, some smooth <laughs> relaxation. Just... Peace, you know, a yeah. peace of mind. That's I can get for, it. Look bro. at this shit, baby. This is this is life. Look, got you some crown on deck. Got you a plate. Hell yeah, baby. This this is life. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all the nagging shit. Just you know, life. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> In a perfect world, we can be together. And that's what gonna happen. Saying to me. I'm saying, <laughs> in a perfect world, we won't have to deal with any of this shit no more. Right. It'd be just me and you. Fuck your husband. Fuck your wife. Fuck <laughs> all this shit, man. Yeah. Man, there's no reason why we should just both be in pain. I'm just saying. We Mister. should both be happy with yes. our partners that we fucking committed to, but. How can we commit to a motherfucker that's just not willing to change? We didn't commit to that. That's the problem. Exactly. They change. They change. It's not us. It's them. No, because we're still the same. Right. We're not in the wrong. No. If anything, we're in the right. Yeah. Because we're making each other happy. That's it. Sit this all. Yeah. Let's just continue doing that. We will. You know, like, for real. I just... We just gotta keep building that future together, you know? And can't let any negative energy just get in between it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree too. Oh my god, this is just heaven. It feels so fucking good, baby. Mm-mm. What time your husband you on the way? Oh shit. Dog got quiet. He'll be here in about seven minutes. Oh hell man. Shit, lock me in the motherfucking <laughs> closet if <laughs> that motherfucker show up. We sending you out the patio. The patio, <laughs> shit. Do whatever you gotta do, shit. Cause I ain't trying, you know what I'm saying? But hey, yeah. shit, when a nigga pass up, oh, hell no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's what, you know what I'm saying? That's what we get the shit on the crack and grill, you know okay. what I'm saying? That shit, girl, we get on it. I got you, bro. That shit not cracking, boo. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, just put that nigga to sleep. You know, that nigga <laughs> probably only tired from a hard day work. Like, hey, fuck that nigga and hey, fuck that right dog to too. You know? Okay. Fuck yeah. that fucking dog. He come in here, fuck with his dog, get on the fucking game, and that's it. Listen, dog. when you kick that nigga out, that dog gotta go too. Yeah, he got. Cause that motherfucker can't keep cock blocking on me every okay. time. Fucking hug you and shit. I'm just saying. I like you heard a knock real close. Oh shit. What the fuck? Is that him? Oh shit. Hurry up. God damn it. Shit. What the fuck? What the fuck you want to do? Oh shit. Oh, damn. Look at me. Oh 
Just fucking throw me in the closet. Hey baby, what's your name? Like you do. I'm doing well, shit, what about you? I see you over looking real sexy, black chocolate clean with this natural, beautiful hair. Go ahead and give me a smile, let me see your smile. Who, who you think you is? Where you come from? Who you belong to? You, are you lost? Girl, I belong to you, I came to you. No, you must be lost because you don't belong to me. You must belong to somebody else. What are you talking about? I'm trying to, I'm, listen, who? listen, I'm trying to get to know you. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know you, like... What are you but, doing? But can I get to know you? You what? look, you look What the hell is she talking about getting away from me? Girl, I knew I had you in the bag from the start. But I like it. I like it when they play hard to get. Because either way it went, I was going to get my catch. Because I'm Jeremy. <laughs> Who can deny me? Whatever I wanted, I got. And even though she was playing hard to get at first, I always, always get my catch. Even though I had Brie and my wife, Precious was different. She was more fun and outgoing. She liked to party. And it brought out my wild side. Not only that, she was a freak. Which I needed in my life. No strings attached. She never tripped off me. Cause she was doing her own thing. Had her own money. Just a wild horse, a free spirit, and I like that. When I would kick it and call Precious, it was a breath of fresh air. Cause not only was she fun, she kinda eased my soul. Never Bree or my wife getting in their feelings and start giving me crap. I'll go to Precious. Damn, bro, I see your muscle look good, man. What, what you doing right now? Hell yeah, bro. You know, I'm getting on swallow and shit. We're about to hit up that gym. Shit, bro, we got to look good for the honeys, bro. Come on, dude. Bro, you know bro, how we bro, get down. Like, 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 I, I rather talk to you about something, bro. You my boy, and I bro, know. Talk I to know, me about I know, anything, I bro. For Come, real, yeah. What you got for me, bro? For real, like, facts. I see where all these honeys are running. Oh, like bro, bro. Jeremy got all. Jeremy got all the bitches now. Come on, Jeremy. Jeremy got all the <laughs> man. They I, love this shit, bro. For real, bro. What I can tell you, man to man, look in my face, bro. What you got for me? I can take a point, like play a card, bro. Take a girl, stick to your girl, and stop messing up with all these girls around. They won't do shit. They won't do nothing better. Like I you serious? can have fun. You can have good, 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 have fun. Probably you give your body to them, bro. But what I can tell you, if you have a girl, like you just stick to, to that girl. One like, girl, one girl is better, bro. bro like I'm... that, like that. You see what's you know what your plans are. You know, keeping the one girl. Like you see what your plans are. You know. The next day, like you waking up next the next day, like talking to a girl, like you know, one one is better. Are we fucking these bitches? Wrong party, yeah, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm fucking wild horse, bro. I mean, For real, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm fucking wild, bro. All these girls, I see you, you fucking wrong. 
No shit, I hate using condoms, bro. Come on, man. You hate bro. using condoms, bro. bro let me tell you something. Condoms, bro. Do you, do you know your status right now? Do you know? Oh, this guy. Do you know your status? Do you know your status right now? Look at me, man. I'm shit. Look good, man. I ain't got shit, man. I'm perfect shit, I'll bro. I'll tell you, bro. I see a lot of people like I watch television all the time, bro. People that have sickness in them, bro. That that skin look better, like, like just like you, bro. But look really? into them, bro. They are, they have some kind some kind of infection, you know, that they don't even know about, bro. Damn. So what I can tell you as a boy, bro, whatever your situation is, I can advise as a brother, like, I want you to have a girlfriend, you know, like a girlfriend, a serious type, you know, and just move on with your life, bro. Look, bro, I never told you this. Uh -huh. Never told you this. I don't think I told anybody this, not even my boys, but you real and you dropping some jewels on me. I do got a wife. You do. I do got and a wife. And I see why all these girls are wrong. Yeah. Look, bro, I'm not happy, bro. She doesn't make me happy. Th these other girls at least fulfill me. I love her, but God, bro, I got, every now and then I got to have something, you know? Come on, bro. I just, she gets on my fucking nerves, bro. I just can't do it anymore. Bro, how will you say your wife gets, gets on your nerves? Bro, she's always nagging me, man. It's just like I'm in a fucking prison, dude. Like, I bought her this Airbnb with chilling, and then every time it turns into a fight. Bro, All right. that wouldn't make you to go to the fuck girls around, bro. For real. I can be real to you, bro. Your girl, like, whatever it is, whatever the situation between your girl, I don't know your girl, I don't know your wife, but what I can tell you, bro, I want you to, I don't know, even if you have counselor in your, in your relationship, do you have counselor that you've had, you, you, you talk to, about Damn. your situation? You think that shit will really work, man? It does, Counseling bro. therapy? It does. It we, does. We've been going through it for a while, man. How long you been to, together, bro? It's been a while, man. We got kids and shit. You got kids? Look at that. Think about this kid's future, bro. Think about those kids' future. You don't know. So, all these girls, like, let me ask you a question. All these girls are knocking around. Do you know, like, whoever, like, do you, do you know that some of them are carrying babies for you? Look, I'm tell you one more thing. I did. You said you I, just, you I, just, you just told me you don't have, you don't, you don't look, like doing what come down. I, I did get one pregnant. Look, my wife found out and she, she paid for the abortion. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a mess. Oh it, it, it's it's oh a mess. Oh I put my wife through so much shit, but God damn. And she still sticks with me, man. She's a good woman, bro. To be real with you, she's a good woman. Bro, and then she's still, she's still at your, at your fucking house, bro. She's a good woman, bro. Tell you, wake up, bro. Wake up from that slumbers. Wake up from those bullshit you're doing, bro. I'm telling you, bro. For real. Keep it real with girl, bro. You're right, you bro. You my boy, Jerry. You my boy. Thanks, <laughs> man. Some of these motherfuckers don't talk to me like this, man. You my yes, boy. Sir. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. Uh -huh. Let's take it out on the waist, man. No problem, bro. Sit this chair. Always, bro. I'm here. Thank you, man. Uh -huh. Love you, man. Love you, bro. Today I'm interviewing Jeremy, and we're interviewing him about narcissistic abuse. So, Jeremy, I just have a few questions. Thank you for joining me today. Um, so I just have a few questions, and I just want to ask you and everything. So about your, so you suffer from narcissistic personality disorder, right? First of all, I'm not a narcissist. I don't know where you got that from, but I don't consider myself as a narcissist. So, let's let's go down maybe like a few of like your past history. Go everything. ahead, go ahead. So, um, what was your childhood like? Do I really got to answer that? I mean, it would be nice. I mean, it, it's an interview, so. <sighs> My childhood wasn't the best. I didn't get any attention from my mother or father. The only attention I got was from the men and women that molested me every night before I went to sleep. Family members, friends, for that matter, who my so-called parents trusted. And you know the, the sick thing about all of this? The sick thing about all of this, I would tell my parents what was going on 
and they would sweep it under the rug. Like, I was crazy. I was lying. You know, back in the 80s, a child, a child's voice wasn't nothing. And I felt like nothing. Back then, they didn't care. It wasn't like now where the child would say anything and the parents are going to jail. Back in the 80s, they didn't give a shit. They didn't care about me. And in times I look back on everything that I have did and deep down inside, deep down inside, I don't even care about myself to a certain extent. Because I felt like nobody cared about me. You know, sometimes it's hard to think about the good times we had so much turmoil. But when he was around, we used to go to this spot down on 18th and Vine, and we used to eat down at the corner. He'd take me, we'd go dancing and having drinks, and we would enjoy each other. And every time, I went out with him sometimes. A woman always knew him everywhere we went. He was such a ladies man, I couldn't help it. He couldn't help it. He was so charming and handsome. I couldn't get over how charming he was, how beautiful his smile was. Then we'll go down, you know, to the lookout point. That's where we met our daughter. <laughs> he loved on me all night long. I would never forget. He did. He knew how to rock a woman's world. I will tell you that. He knew how to love a woman down. He knew how to really make her feel like a woman, you know? But, like I said, it was hard. It was hard to resist him. What is that? The love my parents didn't give me? I get it from different people. And how does that go? Let's just say, have you ever seen a Disney movie before? Oh yes. The princess and the prince? Go something like that. Look at me. I look good, don't I? So, it's obvious I do look good, but I'm the Prince Charming. The Prince. The muscular, the beautiful Prince. Inside and out. Perfect. And I sweep the beautiful Cinderella off her feet. Which she is a Cinderella because she has to have me to be a Cinderella. Let's just be honest. For a girl to be perfect, in my eyes, she has to have me. Because if she doesn't have me, she's nothing. She's not Cinderella at all. She's just a normal woman. So I actually complete the woman with my presence. I actually complete her. So I'm the Prince Charming. And I sweep her off her feet. However, I think Cinderella gets a little bit too comfortable. And they don't appreciate what I bring to the table. So, my needs, my happiness, they have to be met. And if they're not, well, let's just say Cinderella can go back to being a Danzo in distress without me. I'm gonna miss him, I really am. I, I really am gonna miss everything about him. But I made sure I was the last woman he could ever, ever destroy like this. I'm okay with being here. This is making me feel like I'm at home now. Because I don't have a chance to destroy someone else's life. I don't want someone to love me like I love this man. 
to where you're to the point to where you don't care about your life and you end up just throwing your life away. I love this man so much. I threw away everything. Everything I worked for. Everything I had. How does your wife, how does your wife feel about your marriage and your goals and stuff that you set for your relationship with her? Honestly, I don't even know why I married her. My wife reminds me of my parents, really. She's always nagging me. Uh, she doesn't believe me. She doesn't believe a word I say. She doesn't give me the affection that I truly desire and I truly deserve, like my parents. She reminds me of them. I, and I think the only reason why I married her, because she was pregnant. Because <laughs> she was pregnant. That's the only reason I fucking married her because she was fucking pregnant. And I wanted to create this fucking fantasy family thinking that it would work. But it never did. It never did. But we do have a babies together. We do have kids. And every I'm gonna be honest. Every time I look at my kids, I see a little bit of her. And you know what? It makes me fucking sick to my stomach. I love my kids, but I see her in her and I just, oh. Can you love and hate somebody at the same time? I believe it's possible. Can I ask you a question? Yes. That's all you been doing. The day you contemplated, or the night you contemplated the murder, what was going through your head? Did you think it out? How, how, was it a nervous breakdown? What push, you just have to tell me. That day, or that night, what pushed you to just murder this man? I would love to have multiple wives. Wouldn't the world be a better place if that were the case? Wouldn't America be a better place? I don't know how to attach to one female because every female has a flaw. There's no such thing as a perfect woman at all. There is such thing as a perfect man. And women just need to realize that. I haven't told you this, but I'm in the man as well. Lower class men. They have to, they can't be too higher than me. I gotta be able to control them to a certain extent. Cause I like control. I like to be able to control the people I'm with. Regulate them to a certain extent. Because let's face it, they're like children. They don't know any better. They don't. They don't. In my relationships, they're like childs. Children like little kids, when they fuck up, and they continue to fuck up, and I tell them not to do this, don't do this, and they do it anyway. Come on. I gotta put my foot down. I got to be the parent that my parents never were to me. So I'm just playing mama and daddy role in my relationships. You say all good things come to an end. Or you can say all bad things must come to an end. Either way it goes, this was the moment of my death. And I never ever thought that my wife would go this far but she did and I paid the ultimate price with my life I just just want to apologize I know we've been going through some things but you know it's all love busy that case is just 
Yeah, it's draining good. me. It is draining me. Like, I'm so... Ain't, oh, tired? my God. Thank you. Oh, my God. This is what I'm talking about, baby. You tired? I am, baby. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Why don't you sit down? I made you some dinner. Is that right? Yeah. Made you this chicken one. Alfredo. You don't yeah. want to take this out, too? Take that out. Yeah, let me go uh, get your plate and stuff. Why don't you sit down? That's what I'm talking I about. To watch. Oh, I will. Thank you, baby. No, I appreciate you so much. I bet. This is what I've been wanting. Yeah. This is what I've been wanting. Thank you. You know that case? Oh, man. What's going on with it? Um, did you find out if they plan to stuff on or not? That's what we're trying to figure out. He's innocent. I know he's innocent because I'm looking into his eyes. He, he's innocent. And yeah, it's just trying to prove his innocence. And it's just, wow, you know, oh my. I know he's innocent, but the state has so much against him because he's already like a felon and it's just. I know that could be hard. It is hard, baby. We're coming home to you and this plate makes it all worth it. Yeah, I know. Thank I don't want you. you. You know I like you when you're hungry. Oh my gosh, baby. Man, this looks real good too. Oh my oh shit. Well thank you. Oh, man, mm. <laughs> This is fire, baby. Thank you. Come here. Come here. Oh my god, baby. This is so fucking fire. You know I'm gonna take care of you. I know. Mm-mm. Oh. Mm. So what's up? So we gonna take this trip or what's up? What we gonna do? Girl, we go anywhere you want. I just need a vacation. You just always say you. that and then when the time comes, it's something different. Baby. Since you've been working this case, quote unquote, I ain't been able to see your ass done. I've been so busy, but look, when we take this trip, mm -hmm. it's me and you. Mm -hmm. Come here. It's me Your yeah, last and you. time we went out of town together. You left me in that damn room by myself. Listen, listen, things came up. You know, I'm a busy man. I do this for us. You always say you're busy. Well deserved. Yes, they need it. Cause you be playing. Why don't you finish eating your dinner? Alright, I'm gonna change it to something real quick. She was gonna change it into. You will see. Oh hell yeah, you know I like surprises. See who it is at the door. What the hell is this? God damn, there's always somebody running in the moment once I'm god damn it shit. Trust me. If there's nothing, then why you hiding? Can we just sit down and have dinner like we're supposed to? Come on, it's, it's a good night. Let's just watch TV. It's a good movie on. Let's just come on. Who was that? Who was that? Dude? It was nobody. Come on, let's just listen, baby. Let's just sit down and we can. Who the fuck was that at the door? What the fuck are you what doing? Are you? Can you get out of my pocket? Can you get out? Can you get out of my pocket? It's a pregnancy test. Who bought you a pregnancy test? Who bought you a pregnancy test? Who bought you a pregnancy test? Listen, listen. Who bought you a pregnancy test? Listen, nobody. Listen. Where did this come from? Listen, listen. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be real with you. 
it's no. It's a one eye stand. She's lying. I don't know. Well, I don't even know, know if this my how purpose some, real or not. How some random woman know where I stay at? I don't know. She could be a fucking stalker. Listen, what? She's lying. I don't know who this woman is. Like, oh my god. A whole pregnancy test. A whole pregnancy. This could be anybody's baby. Look, I'm, I'm a lawyer. I make a lot of money. She could be trying to trap me. Listen, I'm not fucking believing this shit. On, so you cheated on me and you had unprotected sex too? It was just a one I said. And you did it unprotected? You did this unprotected? I was protected. Are you Are you serious? God damn. How oh. did she know where I stay at? How? Oh. How did she know where I stay? Oh. God. Huh? Listen. How? Listen. So you got you got, you got you got women coming to my house, right? Uh. So you got women coming to my house and you got bitches pregnant? Man, God. Johnny, are you kidding me right now? Listen, it could have, it's just a, it could have been a random thing. These, these females are crazy. Okay. okay. Oh my God. Okay. God damn that hurt, Tara. What the hell are you doing? So, so. Fuck, my head is fucking spinning. So, Jeremy. Oh, fuck. Do oh, you, what the fuck? Do you know? Tara, put the fucking knife down. Don't tell me what the fuck to do. Don't tell me what to do. Listen, this is a random Don't fucking groupie. Listen to me. You gonna let this random groupie destroy our marriage? Hey, so I went to the doctor two weeks ago. And they told me I was HIV positive. What? HIV. And today, a woman popped up with a pregnancy test and you tell me you cheating on me? Really? Damn, put the knife down. Okay. Put, we can talk, talk about this without no. the balance. No. No. Damn no. Damn no. Damn stop. Listen. I can't. Damn, stop. I can't. No, no. I, I, no, I, no, put it down. <laughs> Trifling, dirty, uh, dick ass nigga. Shut the fuck up. Huh? I'm sorry, Tara. This is where we come to? I'm sorry. Put it down. You know what? I want you to burn slow. I don't even want to shoot you. I brother, I want you to burn slow. You hear me? Oh, I'm sorry. 
I knew you were gonna shoot so good. What? You gonna learn. You gonna learn about no. the game with women like me. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> You know the world can see this one.